two sides currently seeking an elusive win to put the brakes on a recent slide, albeit that they reside at different ends of the early first division table. The Stanton ends Burnley only one point from their last four games has seen them slip from top to third after a blistering start to the campaign. Today's starting 11, though, differs little from that which were 1 0 losers at Nottingham Forest. Ten remain, only Arthur Nehere misses out, allowing newest recruit Tony Grant to make his home debut for the Clarets. Signed for a quarter of a million pounds from Manchester City, he's already won here at Turf Moor this season, City the only club to have done so. Nigel Spackman's Barnsley have found themselves uncomfortably sitting in the bottom three danger zone and their manager has responded with changes in recent weeks. Out have gone the likes of Lee Jones, Mike Sheeran and now top scorer Bruce Dyer to the bench. In, Dane Peter Sand and two loan signings from Sunderland, Chris Lumsden for his second league start and debutante John Oster. Still only 22, his precocious talent has never been in question but surplus to Peter Reid's current plans, Barnsley will hope to benefit from his midfield promptings. Today's referee has come down from the northeast, the experienced Graham Laws. Seven wins out of the first eight games of the season has meant that Burnley's recent blip has been damaging but not disastrous. For Barnsley, their current run of 11 defeats in their last 16 league games stretching back into last season is a great deal more alarming. And consequently, the changes have been much more forthcoming for Barnsley than they have been for Burnley. Single goal defeats in the main in three of the last four matches have meant the Stanton end didn't feel surgery was necessary. Not the greatest of distance for Barnsley fans to travel, but not many have, sadly. An indication of their recent slide down the table. And this a very tricky place to visit at the best of times, but particularly when they're riding so high. Always one of the best supported clubs outside the Premiership, Burnley. And... Uh, as mentioned earlier, only Manchester City have won here, although Rushton and Diamonds did inflict a Worthington Cup defeat, surprisingly. Free kick award for Barnsley, which Kevin Ball is none too pleased with. Awaiting the delivery of this early free kick. Referee giving a stiff talking to to Kevin Ball. Not the first time in his lengthy career that a referee has felt the need to do so. And it'll be Chris Morgan to deliver it. That goes Cork. Didn't manage to get there the highest. Away by Cox. Controlled by Taylor. Manages to muscle himself away from the challenge of Lumsden. Burnley just about retained possession. Here's West. Use of the chest was definitely the verdict from the assistants and the referee. Chris Morgan not guilty of handball.
Paul Weller hoping that uh, he can get himself away from one or two Burnsy Barnsley players, which he does. Cross delivered by West. Guided down by Oster. And cleared only as far as Davis. Angle ball towards Taylor's a good one. And he stumbles on the edge of the area, and it'll be an early free kick right on the edge of that area for the Clarence. Taylor trying to get himself away. Lee Crooks impeding him. Two former Manchester City teammates now on opposing side. Now, Steve Davis is a centre-half, but possesses quite a deft touch from free kicks. Paul Cook is a left-footed player and may fancy guiding it over the top of the wall. Now, a tail loitering with intent as well. Barnsley not retreating the full ten, and there's going to be bookings here. Take your pick, really. if Kevin Gallon is going to be the sole uh, name taken or if he's just going to be the example set to the others. It does look that way. Well, they've made that free kick even easier now. An extra yard further forward. It's going to be Davis. No, it's Taylor. And that's all that. It's into the base of the wall. And ultimately to nothing. It's been a grey old day here in Lancashire. And the pitch is quite slick underfoot, surface flat. And we always feel that contributes to a speedy passing game. Let's hope that this is an example of such an occasion. No one has yet really got their passing game going. Chase for Oster. Davis coming across. And Oster will be happy with that contribution. Winning the throw off the Burnley skipper. Now Morgan Crooks Gallon had run across the line to support Crooks who gets the return and once more nice triangle from Barnsley not much progress made however here's Barker indeed forcing Morgan backwards thanks to the pressure from Ian Moore and the Burnley fans appreciated the efforts of their centre forward away by Brisker, forward by Crooks. Out of play off Kevin Gallon's chest. Gallon back in the fray after an injury. Brisker. jumped but uh, ultimately it was cleared by Crooks flick on by Gallon a good touch as well and a real opportunity which Sand almost managed to benefit from but Kokopoulos was out smartly the Greek against the Dane and the Greek came out on top popular figure here at Turf Moor Nick Kokopoulos very much part of the furniture now Cox, Weller. Here is Weller again. Offside against Gallon. The referee's decided to wave play on. Taylor penalised.
came towards Gallon, cushioned the header, but not really to any genuine effect. Burnley throw. Briscoe inviting targets to come and make themselves known. Taylor was willing. Here's Moore. Good turn from Moore. And we know he has the pace. Still going Moore. And it was a cross that was aimed towards Weller's run. But it couldn't do any real damage to the Barnsley defence. Kept alive by West, meanwhile. Headed away by Crooks. Donovan, did he have his shirt tugged? It indeed was. Promising opening, though, for Burnley a moment ago, which uh, Moore almost benefited, but not quite. Ball offside against Moore. It was a tight decision, but the right one. Writing notes, he's got plenty to think about. Last thing he would have expected was to see his side occupying the lower regions of the first division table this season. And what his chairman thinks of it all. A play from Davis, extricating himself from trouble. Mistake from Oster. Here's Grant. Poking it through for Moore. Grant's gone to support him in the middle, but muscled out of it illegally by John Parkin. It'll be a free kick to Burnley. The assistant didn't like this as uh, Moore tried to get away. Organising a little two-man wall as Cook guides it in, and it was a teaser. Barnsley had sufficient cover. Weller looking for Cook, probably a little too much on it. But it's a corner. Weller's intentions were good, but the execution not quite as good. Burnley have a corner, though. Trusty left foot, boot of uh, Cook, gathered in by Marriott, though. Here's Ward. Hockey challenge from Briscoe. Shows brings in Lumsden. Give it away though. Davis. Never to be picking out the target who is Taylor. Most of the uh, aerial balls go in his direction for obvious reasons. Well, they tried to make something out of uh, very little. Failed. Fullback. Yes. 
Robertson will take the corner. Nicopolis will come and play. And immediately tries to prompt Ian Moore into a sortie, but skipped off the turf. Good idea. A bit of space in which to operate here for Barnes if they can do so. Parker, who has shown himself happy to come forward. Lumsden, now Oster. Gallon. And they caught him. Donovan was just looking to get away from ball, but was felled. And it's in a decent position for a free kick. Ball's challenged, a little too hefty. is the only man currently looking like uh, orchestrating proceedings. Crooks has come to help him and the wall of about four or maybe five players, you could call it, in the way. It's going to be Lumsden. Oh, it's a good effort. And it needed two hands. And Macopoulos was happy to guide that one over his bar. Really belted that one. Effort from Lumsden, who's taking most of the dead ball situations for Barnsley. Here's Taylor. Bernie looking to counter quickly. Here's Cook. That trusty left boot guiding it just out of reach, but Moore is put his foot on the accelerator and retrieved it. Still Moore. really did do a terrific job for his side. Great turn of pace, got himself on the end of the pass and just caused a little hiatus in the Barnsley area. Always possessed great turn of pace, Ian Moore. Here's Grant, the ball. Picks out Cook. Settles with a throw off Morgan. West to take. Weller showing. Good turn from Weller. Cross is inviting, and uh, Donovan's clearance means that it's a corner. All bar Oster have been brought back by Barnsley. Go aiming towards Taylor and uh, a little shove which the referee didn't like. Barker picking himself up, free kick to his side. Just a little nudge by Taylor. Just over a quarter of an hour gone and Real pat emerging. Chances at a premium, although arguably Barnsley have come the closest through Lumsden's free kick. Time for Marriott. Things towards Donovan. She's off Cox. Back in the side again after a recent injury. Gallant just trod on the ball at an inopportune moment. Briscoe trying to retrieve things for Burnley. It's only as far as Donovan. Oster loses control and Grant can come away with it. He's looked for more. But uh, Morgan was wily. That's given away, though. Here's ball for Burnley. Cook. You probably heard the cries of man on from around about 10,000 Burnley fans. He did too. Davis. Now West. 
Davis in towards Moore. But, uh, once more, Morgan was up to the challenge. Mitch Walsh. Kevin Gant. Support, no offside, and the Coppolas will stretch and gather. <laughs> Taylor guiding it towards Moore, but a good foot in and an important one from Barker. Marriott's clearance was uh, certainly not as he intended. Here's Weller. West offering to help. Has he prodded that too far? No, he hasn't. And Taylor, oh, he feed have readjusted. That might have been interesting. He didn't expect it to arrive as it did. And just for a second, it opened up for Gareth Taylor. West doing well. He was shot. Hands to the face from Gareth Taylor. Here he is again. A little more on it this time, but... Goal kick is the outcome. Just took a deflection as it went towards Gareth Taylor and he couldn't quite readjust quickly enough. A reflective moment for the manager. in front of Donovan. His trucks. Two Burnley players descended on it, neither of them got a touch. The Barnsley throw. Morgan just guiding it across the line to Barker. Here's Oster. Skills. That's what uh, Nigel Spackman will have been looking for from him, although he did eventually run into Paul Weller. And the offside flag has been raised against Gareth Taylor. And that little burst from John Oster will have pleased his newest manager. Crooks finding Gallup. Lumsden, Oster. Lumsden wants more, but uh, too much on it. This is going a little astray at the moment. do is keep it on and then guide it off for the goal kick. He needs a ponder, he's tried all sorts of different ideas, different uh, formations and uh, indeed different personnel, just hoping to get things right for Barnsley. Here's Weller. Opens up a little space for himself, and it's an own goal. Taylor was descending, but it's put in by the captain, Chris Morgan. He was closest, but not as close as him. The midpoint of the first half, and the skipper has aired. Under pressure, Gareth Taylor was behind him after this teasing ball in by Weller. Tried to put it out of harm's way, put it in the corner of the net. Well, he won't 
don't mind how it came, but he'll certainly point to an excellent cross from Paul Weller. Well, that's what you don't need when your confidence is already sapping away from you. An own goal from your skipper. Frustrating times for Barnsley. It's a far cry from the days when they used to chat that we play like Brazil and they're donned in the kit of Brazil. And they retrieve it in Brazilian fashion. Offside, though, against Austin. Davis he will be feeling for his opposing number and skipper that's a terrific header down from Taylor Weller almost on the end of it and would have been on a day when it had rained a bit more perhaps but it just glided across the turf here's Barker it's a little short from Oster and Moore will benefit Teasing Morgan and Barker with a good firm tidy tackle for his side. Here's Oster. Closed down by Grant quickly. And then by Ball. More hurriedly away by Barker. Headed clear by Davis. Gathered in by Well. The opening goal was significant. Good old fashioned wing play. Beat his man. Put in the cross. Is the unfortunate scorer, Chris Morgan. Ward gunning it out to Crooks. Crooks looking towards Sand, headed away by Cox, in by Donovan. Enough burning cover to ensure that Barnsley couldn't benefit there. Here's Weller. West will have to go backwards. <laughs> Hasn't had too much service to thrive on so far, Kevin Gallant. And the offside flag has been raised. Once again against Gareth Taylor. Crooks. Well by Cox. Onto the roof for the stand on the far side. really they had possession but never looked like they were benefiting from it and couldn't construct a real move in the end he just went out for a throw from Oster. Oh, could be time to pick out a cross, try to aim towards Gallant, could be retrieved by Lumsden. Support from Donovan. Here's Crooks. 
And still, and that's a free kick. Weller's outstretched toe. And it's in a promising area. Crooks was just thinking about maybe shooting, as he felt. Lumsden's already tested Burnley with a well-driven shot from similar range, albeit slightly to the left of where he's striking it from now. It's going to be Ward. And Lumsden was the decoy on this occasion, and Ward tried the little bender, floating it over the top of the wall. McCopolis appeared to have it covered. Yet to score in his Barnsley career. Here's Grant. Pushing it through to West, he was impeded anyway. And Burnley have a free kick. Davis to take up towards Taylor. The offside flag, and not for the first time, has gone up against uh, Burnley's tallest man. I guess he's easy to spot when he strays. the last quarter of an hour of the first half and despite leading they can't really claim they're in the ascendancy as such the home side Barnsley though can claim neither here's more second goal now would certainly put Burnley into the lead and Kevin Ball almost provided it He was just uh, thinking about shooting Kevin Ball. He never really got the chance to. It's a terrific challenge from Chris Morgan, who more than atoned for his own goal as Ball attempted to double Burnley's lead. defend this corner without their captain who has to go off having received treatment how significant will it be good punch from Marriott on the stretch and Oster happy just to relieve some of the pressure Tony Grant Hulcock Ball towards Moore and he's taken it down and Marriott's come and off the line it'll be by Morgan who's taken up a good position. And really uh, apart from uh, his unfortunate own goal, Morgan has arguably been Barnsley's best man. Timely tackle on Kevin Ball and a clearance off the line for me and Moore. But Moore is a genuine menace to the Barnsley back line. And here he is once more. In by Briscoe, and up goes Ball, and it's a goal kick. Marriott left on the floor. And it looks as though he's perhaps winded. But earlier Marriott was helped out by his captain. This was the uh, moment when Ball went in hard and uh, just caught Marriott with his momentum. Marriott 
that's okay. forward by Ward, looking towards Sand, headed away by Briscoe, helped further clear by Cox, who wins the throw. Headed away by Morgan, over the head of Grant. Alland as well. Oster's on the chase, and he's got there. Despite a little tug of the shirt, and he's backed by Briscoe. Donovan. Cross was blocked, and uh, no arm, it appears, according to the referee. Lee Briscoe, the offender. There is uh, two palms on it, perhaps, even. And the cross reaches Gallo! And Nicopolis has blocked it. Well, Bernie was still trying to organise some sort of wall and get themselves into a defensive position. And all of a sudden, the kick had been taken, and Nicopolis had to be alert to deny Kevin Gallon. It's in the corner, of course. Smashed away by Grant acrobatically. Kept alive by Crooks. Ball prodding it away. Barker retrieving, trying to keep the momentum going forward as far as Barnsley are concerned. Here's Cook there. Weller wants it. Weller gets it. More just by the penalty spot. Aims instead towards the run of Briscoe. And the deflection goes into the roof of the net. Well, Briscoe's claiming it. But uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not the goal is indeed given to him ultimately. Doesn't matter to the Burnley fans, might matter to him. Well picked out by Weller, sensible ball. Well, I would suspect that's probably an own goal against Parkin. Briscoe certainly will argue with me, and rightly so, but it's 2-0 the most important statistic. And the home side, as half-time approaches, well in control. Well, if it counts as his, it'll be his fourth. Well, poor old John Parkin was definitely the man that steered it away from his own goalkeeper, but with already one own goal against them, maybe everyone will be happy for it to be a Briscoe goal. And ironically, it came within a minute of Barnsley having their best chance through Kevin Gallant. Well, they're possibly behind due to two own goals, says everything you need to know about the fortunes currently of Nigel Spackman's Barnsley. have to feel sympathy for any side who are in some sort of free fall. But uh, when two goals go in off your own defenders, you really do know you're out of luck. One consolation was still seven minutes of this half and 45 more to go. It's an awkward back pass from Barker, which Marriott has done well to make something out of and Oster has ensured that West can't benefit. Yeah. There's no 
nothing that Andy Marriott could have done about either goal. Allen just caught, or rather Sam just caught by West. Callan laying it off. It's obviously a situation that needs retrieving with goals and Bruce Dyer replacing Mitch Ward and Kevin Gallen will have a little more support now. Mitch Ward sacrificed in the courts. Well, Kevin Gallen has been pretty much on his own for most of this half. Support coming from the midfield, but now he has a twin strike partner in Bruce Dyer. Still five minutes to half time. And a Barnsley goal, apart from halving the deficit, would certainly give a great deal of hope to their side, which is something that they have to cling on to at times like these. Here's Lumsden. Now Oster. And Lumsden. That's it from Barnsley. Grant in the way, though. Here's Crooks. Callan jumping. Pumped away by Weller. The sloppy at the back there and a chance for Lumsden to try and find Gallon and in the end Davis and Nicopolis between them sorting things out. Very sloppy from Burnley giving the ball away really needlessly. Gallon's header was perhaps goal bound but Davis ensured that it was guided back to his own goalkeeper. And then quick to point out that that was rather lax as half time approaches. Rather lax at any time. Offside against Moore. Oster. From ball as you'd expect from him. Clean though. Here's Grant, here's Cook, now Briscoe. Okay. at his back, a little more for Cox to think about now. Allen's made the run. There again. Donovan slipping out to the right-hand side. Here's Sant. Oh, now he's given what? Penalty. I wondered if he'd given an indirect free kick for dangerous kicking, but I think he's given the penalty. Ball is the offender. was foot up and uh, right into the body 
firmly into the body of Gallon. And it will be more than just a stiff talking to for Ball, a booking. Gallon picking himself up gingerly, given as a foul and a penalty. Lumsden who's taken the free kicks and all the set pieces so far who will score and that half-time deficit seems a whole lot more surmountable now confident rifled into Macopoulos's net and it's 2-1 and we have a real game on our hands now the change of fortunes that Nigel Spackman will have craved. He responded quickly by bringing Dyer on, and within a couple of minutes, his side are back in it. trying to retrieve. Crooks coming away with it for Barnsley. Coming away though to Brisket. Now Cook and Brisket. Weller. Muscled out of it illegally, says the referee, by Peter Sapp. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. And Burnley have a corner off Morgan. Andy Marriott and Co will be absolutely craving that half time whistle while they have the deficit back at one again. And Marriott's outstretched fist. Just about getting there on the end of Cook's corner. Here's Oster. Hit Grant last. Barnes the throw. Second minute of added time. Looking for Taylor, fucked away by Morgan. Keeping possession and almost scoring as well, and would have done, but for the fingertips of Andy Marriott. Terrific play from Paul Weller. Spinning away, working the opening, firing the shot. Good save. We have another corner. Is the time to take it? Minutes of added time completed. Taylor, the uh, county spot. Marriott coming and it's hit away by Morgan. And that is the end of a very intriguing first half, which probably two own goals gave Burnley the advantage. One of them definitely from Morgan, the other a shot from Briscoe, which certainly was connected firmly with by John Parkin. But 
A challenge by Kevin Ball that was dangerous and considered worthy of a penalty. And Chris Lumsden has halved the deficit. It's going to be an intriguing second half. 2-1 at the break. start the second half with Barnsley skipper Chris Morgan still probably reflecting on another eventful match against Burnley he scored the winner at Oakwell last season it was his only goal it was in the last minute and then in the return fixture in January he was sent off as his side lost 2-1 so as he scored the opening goal here in his own net he was probably more happy than most to see Chris London penalty go in It is astonishing how certain players seem to emerge in certain fixtures. History is full of the... Meanwhile, Morgan and Co have some defending to do, and Moore is offside. He hit the base of the post. He wasn't to know he was flagged offside. The ball was just slipped through to him, and it was one of those in line or just in front. Assistant said just in front, wouldn't have counted. Grant on the volley with a pass, trying to bring it well over. Marriott is there. Dyer trying to bring it under, use of the arm, and it'll be a free kick to Burnley. He scored six times this season, Bruce Dyer, although intriguingly three of them in the Worthington Cup, not to benefit Barnsley's points haul in the league. goes Dyer with Cox. And Briscoe will guide it back to Micopolis. Lumsden, the scorer of the penalty that's made it 2-1, is also only the second Barnsley player to score a goal away from home this season. Bruce Dyer the other. Taylor. Now West. No offside this time. Weller. And it'll be Marriott. Barnes will be absolutely desperate to get the next goal of the afternoon. 3 1, and uh, you do feel that it'll be game up for them.
is Dyer. Trying to batter his way through. Briscoe in a tangle. Davis there to help him. Flick on by Moore to Taylor. And it's a free kick. For a moment, all eyes were on the assistant on the far side, who was much closer than the referee. The assistant didn't flag, the referee did blow. Oh, and this got guided on by Moore. It was certainly messy between Taylor and Morgan. In the end, the referee said that it was a foul. Morgan's header away, controlled by Grant, losing out there to Sand. Gallon also not able to find one of his own. Forward by Brisker, Taylor jumping. Here's Ball. Picks out Weller. Does he? No, not quite. thought for a second that he may have got away with his challenge on Gallon that conceded a penalty. He was wondering if it might be an indirect free kick, the award. It wasn't to be. Now, a familiar face to Barnsley supporters making his way onto the field. Darren Barnard will replace John Parkin. of their uh, premiership days, Darren Barnard. Armstrong <laughs> guiding it forward. Kept on by Oster. West keeping him company. Still lost it. Corner. Hunston <laughs> again orchestrating from the set piece. And it's a good header, and it's gone in, and it's Chris Morgan again. This time where he intended it to be, in the opponent's net, and I said he had an eventful time against Burnley. There's the proof again. Astonishing. He never has a dull moment against Burnley, Chris Morgan. Just enough power to get past Micopolis, and the man who opened the scoring now has the latest goal in the opponent's net now. 2-2. Concealing his delight, but you know that that heartbeat will be racing now. The Barnsley certainly don't like Carry to do that. And their captain epitomises that never say die attitude. to atone for the own goal in the best possible way, Chris Morgan. And he also has a, a goal line clearance in this game to his name as well. Maybe he'll think about getting an unusual hat-trick, Chris Morgan. Two down to 2-2, two -two, and the side who've lost all their games away from home in the league are looking a different side now. And they have a corner. Suddenly, Macopolis is under a little bit of pressure. Guided in by Sand, flicked over. After 36 minutes, she'd have been forgiven for thinking this game was over. 
Mons, they have other ideas, and they've been penalised. Dyer, I think, push it. And Burnley will not quite believe what's hit them here. Yet to make a substitution this afternoon. It might be time for a change now. No offside. Here's Dyer. Oh, and a terrific save as Sand looked as though he was tucking it beside Nick Nicopolis. Curses himself and his luck. And Barnsley are now looking the likelier winners. What a turnaround. Nicopolis now making the saves. Comes in to take, and the header sailing over the bar from Lee Crooks. And indeed, Santanet does make an early change, having seen his side haul back to 2 2. It's going to be Bradley Maylett who's coming on for Paul Cook. And a young midfielder to replace one in his 30s. Stantonet's first move to try and put Burnley back into the ascendancy. Here's Dyer, though. And he's fouled. Locals are beginning to become a great deal more restless than they did just past the 35th minute of this game. Remember, Barnsley haven't had so much as a point on their travels this season. Dyer felt he was pushed. The Barnsley fans at that end agreed. The referee was dismissive. I said at the start of play that both sides needed a win to halt a rather bleak slide on each side's. Uh, Statistics. Hardly a win between them. Maybe uh, a draw seemed the most obvious outcome. Still plenty of time to go, and John Oster has other ideas. Oh, but he's uh, sliced that horribly wide. What an opportunity. Maybe a more confident, regularly playing John Oster would have had a better finish than that on it. Here's Mayler going for the bender, and Marriott comfortably gathered in. We've not even reached the hour mark yet. Four goals, a penalty, an own goal. The away side coming from two down. What's next? Davis, side. Against Taylor again. Looks like that assistance has gone from one side to the other. Same man flagging the same player. Eddie Evans will not be on Gareth Taylor's early Christmas card list. Munson just caught. And it will be a free kick against Tony Grant.
Dyer by the penalty spot. It's gone deeper. It's off the head of Crooks for a goal kick. Spackman has readjusted his back line since the introduction of Barnard. But it's at the other end that he'll be focusing his attentions as Dyer comes forward and needed Nailet's challenge to thwart him. Oh, it's all Barnsley at the moment. Another corner. And Morgan's amongst a posse of four players waiting to time their run. The Coppolis will come and claim. And maybe allow Burnley to have a little possession and alleviate some of the pressure. Barker's gone inside to play centre half alongside Morgan. Towards Davis, headed away by Morgan for the corner. Well to take. Taylor trying to get that goal kick. Stanton Ent still has attacking options on the bench. If he should wish to call on them. Andy Payton 
and Dimitrios Papadopoulos, both strikers of some note. And there is the former Barnsley man, stripped and ready. And as Nigel Spackman gives out the instructions, Burnley will introduce a player who Barnsley fans will know all about, equally as much of those of Burnley. Andy Payton spent three seasons at Oakwell and was as prolific there as he's been throughout his career. Then they're just waiting for a break in play. So far, the assistants haven't attracted the attention of the referee to burn his impending substitution. So Lumsden guides it forward, meanwhile. Ball heads it up. More controls. Ball again. Away by Crooks. Into Dyer. Cox's foot in was important. Here's Donovan. Trying to work a 1-2 with Sand. Away by Cox. Barnard will retrieve. There is Barnard. Deflection. Kept on though by Macopoulos. He tries to prompt Taylor into action. Edge away by Morgan. Crooks back to his goalkeeper. And Burnley need a goal to win this game, obviously, and who else to provide it in the prolific Andy Payton? Three seasons of Barnsley will have taught Barnsley fans about his scoring prowess. He needs two more for his 200th goal, and he scored against Barnsley in January here at Turf Moor. Dean West, the man sacrificed. Spackman now knows that Burnley have three centre forwards on the field. Doesn't seem too bothered about it. Understandably, the home side are going for it. Midpoint of the second half. Andy Payton's first touch. Winning a call. Covering by Andy Marriott. Briscoe to take the corner. Up goes Taylor. Not away. Still not away. Is now from Crooks. Oster. Referee happy that it was Messi on both sides and waves play off. Naylor pushing it through to Moore. Well gathered in by Marriott. Goes Cox, gets there in front of Dyer, sliced by Ball. Oster tussling. Davis up towards Taylor, well brought down by the big centre forward. Here's Payton. Still, Ball. 
and away. Maylett was the intended target. Barnard searching for Dyer. Briscoe in the way. Barnard. Dyer's layoff. Only going to a Burnley club. Grant it was. Now Payton looking for more. Across came Barker. Measured approach was preferred. And Tony Grant will float it in. Davis towards Peyton, thumped away by Lumsden towards Dyer. Maylip turning. And he was impeded. Bernie free kick. Twenty minutes to go. Burnley two, Barnsley two. Chris Morgan significant to say the very least so far. Taylor's head up, high and handsome. Thing that uh, he'll want his side to do now is get nothing from this game, particularly having had such a tremendous fight back. Can you imagine how demoralised the side would be in the dressing room if they were to lose, having put in so much now? But uh, we only have just under 20 minutes to inflict more damage to Barnsley's fragile confidence. And three forwards on in this form of Taylor, Moore and Payton. And here's the latter. Brings in Maylett. Halted in his early tracks. Here's Dyer. Tackle from Maylett wins the throw. Brisker, guiding it towards Taylor, headed away by Crooks, Crooks, good ball, picks out Sand, Lumsden, inviting Dyer to chase, Davis in front of him, and indeed Dyer just tugged him, It on more looking for it. Oh, and he nearly got there too. Just sniffing around. Wouldn't quite fall for it. Gallop. Donovan. Sam meaning it drop. Smashing it off the side of Brit. Kick off Donovan last. Taylor got the touch. Parker got the foot in.
Why not? Here's Taylor, it's just run away from him. Oh, striking it off more. Anxiously looking for what would be their first point that they've watched on their travels. Barnsley fans in hope. Gallup. Try to find Oster. Here's Grant. Inviting Moore to scamper. Barker always the favourite. Grant into Payton, losing out though. Lumsden. Dyer's running in front of Gallant to try and get it, and Cox did well. Here's Sand. Lumsden, who can hit them. Gallon, who can do the same, and, well, it was within a foot of putting his side ahead for the first time of the afternoon. Just tried to bend it round Macopolis, and he was so close to doing so. Still 2-2. Oh, he'll have been up, jumping. Hoping. Inside the final quarter of an hour. Here's Weller. Brisker offside. Flag went up the second the ball was delivered. to settle for the corner. Poking it away from Dyer. The ball in from Lumsden and it's off the line. Guy, it was uh, Lee Crooks whose header was goal-bound. Barnsley are getting closer than Burnley to finding a winner. Lumsden's ball in. Lee Crooks' is header. Off the line, I think, by Brisker. Burnley fans believe what they're seeing here they'd have thought this game was well and truly won at 2-0 now they're just happy for a point Dyer's offside Taylor helping it on towards Payton Barnard back to his keeper, Marriott on the stretch. Knocked away by Barker. Davis retrieving for Burnley.
trucks that to Gallup. Use of the hand to control it. Free kick Burnley. Flagging. Just going to swing it in left footed. Davis by the penalty spot. Peyton there too. Taylor on the far. Put it away by Donovan. Ball. Grant. Brisket. Taylor looking towards Peyton and uh, Peyton left it because he got a shout from Moore and Moore helped it into the top of the stand and Sam Ellis and Stanton in between them are beginning to become a little more frustrated with this kind of opportunity being squandered minutes to go and very difficult to predict the outcome of this game Peyton was shot by Morgan And uh, harmless. Still heads every header and makes every tackle, doesn't it? Lumsden helping it on, Oster chasing. And a good cushioned header by Weller, thanks to his goalkeeper. Weller catching out Oster, it's a free kick to Burnley. free kick Taylor not really getting a telling touch on it fucked away by Donovan up to Dyer here's Lumsden Dyer continues his run Oster back to Barnard it's a good ball Dyer muscling his way past Cox two men in the area for company but the momentum's just temporarily been lost here's Lumsden Donovan in space targets to aim for there's Gallon couldn't bring it under and find anybody in the area Donovan Gallon Barnard Sand on the stretch couldn't do much with it by Sand on board. Lumsden surging for Dyer. Oh, he's left that very short and Cox has done well. Driving Burnley on. Gives it to his centre-half partner Davis who is trying to find Maylett, has struck Cox. Here is Maylett. Head 
her away on his knees by Morgan. You just feel that the home fans are getting impatient for a winner here. Here's Moore, peeling out to the right. It's a good ball into Davis. Oh, he couldn't quite get there. Felt he was impeded, and he was. Penalty. Crooks can't believe it. Barnsley fans are furious, the Burnley fans are gleeful. And Morgan goes away, shaking his head. Well, Davis was certain that he was impeded there. A tug of the shirt by Lee Crooks. And who else but Andy Payton, given the responsibility of surely sealing the win? Is it to be goal 199 of his career? Well, he scored in a 2-1 win against Barnsley in January. He may well have given Burnley another victory. And when he came on a sub, you somehow felt he might. Five minutes to find their third rescue mission successful. And Dean Gore is going to be introduced to try and help provide it. Burnley 2 have made a substitution while all the celebrating was going on. Gordon Armstrong has made his way onto the field. tried to get away and couldn't. because it's not been that kind of game, not that predictable. It's a beauty, isn't it? That left foot has served him well. It's his second of the season, albeit the first from the penalty spot. It's 3-3. He'll say that they've deserved it. It's been a terrific game. 
Still two minutes of it to go. The referee is not happy with Derek Fazakali, the Barnsley assistant manager, and indeed Derek Fazakali, who is a Blackburn Rovers favourite in his playing days, has been sent to the stats. Well, six goals, a couple of penalties, own goals here and there. Assistant manager sent off. Just a normal afternoon in the first division of the Nationwide League. time Burnley were at home they drew 3-3 against Crew Alexandra that time it was they who came from behind we're in the final minute Lumsden Dyer has to take it to the corner flag but he can't quite get there stoppage time well, that's my eyes deceive me there's to be five minutes of it so this game which has already had in, well, enough incident to last the whole evening may have a chance for a bit more five minutes of added times worth foul by Taylor on Barker sure he'll have plenty to say to his men looking for their first win in five and he'll feel they've done enough to have won it similarly Nigel Spackman will doubtless feel the same Good first time ball in and Morgan with the last ditch clearance. Armstrong up towards Taylor. Thumped away by Barnott. Forward by Davis towards Maylett. Keepers there. Two minutes of added time completed. Three to go. And Dyer's offside. Well, I didn't hear the whistle. Peyton. Challenge from Barker, forward by Gore, Dyer's offside. I'll take the whistle now, he says. Sorting things out. Here's Gore. Looking for Sand, but Nicopolis scooping it up. Drops away.
Grant. Offside against Payton. Taylor. First away point of the season. Stanton Ent will feel that having led 2 0 and 3 2, that they'll deserve more from the game as well. But in the end, it's been settled by the Darren Barnard equaliser. A terrific 1 2 after Andy Payton had gone 3 2 or put his side 3 2 up for the penalty spot. And the man of the moment, surely Chris Morgan, who scored an own goal. Thank <laughs> you. 